Hello, will you ladies able to help, help me out anything, any way, any kind? All right, you ladies have a good night. Drive safely, okay? My name is Percy Brown. I'm a people person and I'm, I'm going. I love to laugh and I love to make people laugh because it's humor, we need humor in this life. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm a uppity guy, I'm a hyper guy, and I like to learn new things. I guess you just say I'm on the low side, on the downside, on the lower end of the spectrum of my life right now. But it's part of life too. Some people stay here all their life. You know, it may not be the life that I've had, or it may not even be the life that I desire, but I look at it like this. Anytime you wake up on this side of the grass, <laughs> it's a good thing. One time I asked the police, Brandon, he said, sir, do you realize I am a police officer? I said, yes, sir, I do. I said, but uh, I also realize that your money spends too. <laughs> he looked at me and said, you know what? Here, just because you answered that question like that, here. Oh, some of those times, oh, I don't even want to think about how cold I've been sometimes. So cold where my hands hurt it and my feet hurt it. I'm already been frostbite. They already want to take them off. I won't let them. The doctor said the last time he saw feet like that, he kept them. You did? Well, you won't be keeping these. I still got them, no. I'm not, I'm not going to let them take my feet, Brandon. I still need these. I got, I st they still got work to do, right? And this is where I pad down for the night. This is, this is where I relax. This is where I call it a day and say, oh well, this is all, this is it. This is where I say we're gonna try it again. We're gonna try it again tomorrow. That's how I done got all wore out. That's how I done got all walked out. Um, uh, I'm just, oh well. But mostly I watch Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck because I like to laugh. So I set them up so I can watch. So I can watch them. <laughs> so that's what I do. I like to laugh at them. Because when I was a little kid, when I was growing up here in St. Louis, I used to get up on Saturdays, 6 o'clock in the morning and watch cartoons. That's what I did early in the morning. But uh, I wanted to go up there. I wanted to go, one day I am, before I leave this earth, I am going to go up in that arch because I'm not scared of heights. It's like the butterfly. Before, a butterfly becomes a butterfly. You know what it is? It's a caterpillar. Its nature is to devour plants, vegetables, and just, it's a it's a creature known to destruction. They try to kill it off because if they let it live, it'll eat up the vegetation. Inside that cocoon, inside that cocoon, it's a struggle. See, I'm this is my cocoon. I'm metamorphosizing into something better. Once that caterpillar emerges from that cocoon, it becomes a beautiful butterfly. You would never know that thing that crawled on the earth is now able to fly above everything. So this is like me, you know, right now I may be crawling, but when I emerge out of this cocoon, when I finish metamorphosizing, I'm gonna rise up above all this and be able to look down and not remember. I wonder do that butterfly remember that it was once a caterpillar. But regardless, its nature has changed. And so if God is able to change the nature of a caterpillar to a butterfly, how much more do you think God is able to change my nature from being down low to bring me up high?